What up fam, Efresh here and I'm back with an all new video and today we are back in the world of Destiny 2. In today's video, Act 2 just began with this new episode of Echoes and with Act 2 came along two weapons that I told you in the previous video that you should definitely go grind for. I'm here to tell you, today I got lucky with RNG and a bunch of engrams and some deep side harmonizers. I was able to get five red borders and craft the one weapon I wanted more than anything. That weapon is a barren action. Yep, I actually got my hands on the red borders and here we are with a craft diversion. And let me just tell you, this gun is great. Now, disclaimer, when you come here to see the weapons and everything, it, it kind of sucks. When you go to the uh, seasonal engram decoding, you see that you can't you know, you can't grab these yet because it requires the Act 2 Focusing Engram upgrade, which you can't get this week. So that kind of sucks. How I got it was I had 80 engrams for failsafe just chilling, and I had three deep side harmonizers. Now with this, you can come over here to weapon focusing. You can go for one of these and you can pull it. So I did pull a few of those. I used some deep side harmonizers. I got actually got two red borders out of this as well so that's how i was able to get my five so just keep in mind up until next week you won't be able to focus these just yet until you get the act two engram focusing upgrade so good luck and godspeed with rng jesus and hope you get have enough engram saved up and you get the five rare borders for this and then you can craft this amazing gun so this is the role i decided to go with with my sidearm first off I want to throw up another disclaimer. This gun, for some odd reason, drops with zero range. I know with rocket sidearms, range aren't the most important thing, and it's weird because I don't know why this drop with zero, but the other ones have, you know, different ranges. And I'm wondering if this gun is how it's going to be with rocket sidearms, or just having a no range stat, while the other ones still do. I'm confused. I don't know why that is. So. Until I get more information as to what's going on with that, I went ahead and chose range as my rocket assisted frame for my intrinsic. So it gave me 10 range instead of having zero. Again, I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if it's an error on this gun or if the other ones are going to reflect it and do the same with this and just end up having zero range. I don't know. I know it's a rocket sidearm, so I, I, don't, I don't know. I got nothing. So just until I get more information, I went ahead and went with range for my frame here i chose quick launch barrel because which is going to greatly increase the handling speed and increases my projectile speed i chose high explosive ordnance which increases my blast radius which is another important thing i wanted to have and here i was going to go with ambitious assassin but instead i chose heel clip i just feel like with ambitious assassin yeah i get more bullets in the magazine but at the same time i'm already starting with 12 by using the backup mag. So it's not that much more crucial for me to have a bunch of more bullets. So at least with heel clip, it can benefit me and my teammates. And lastly, I chose incandescence because who doesn't want to scorch things and make them blow up? Incandescent is one of the best perks for a gun in this game. And this just makes it even more insane being that this is a rocket assisted sidearm. So incandescent is the main one I went with. Keep in mind, there are other options you can choose from. Here, strategist is always a good pick, just for the simple fact that each time I get a kill, it adds an 11% energy to my class ability. You can't go wrong with that being able to get your class ability a lot quicker. So I think strategist is a top tier pick for this as well. I can pass on pugilist. I can pass on field prep. Beacon rounds don't seem that important. And threat detector is not bad, but again, I don't think it's that necessary. I did have ambitious assassin before, and it does reload a lot of bullets into your magazine, which is cool. But you already started off with 12 because I put a backup mag on it, so I don't think it's super necessary. So I went with heel clip because it benefits me and my teammates. And the fourth column, snapshot, I don't think it's necessary at all. Harmony's not bad for damage. Golden Tricorn is a pick that I would probably recommend second to third. I kind of go kind of go different ways with this but golden tricorn is amazing and it does a lot of damage so i'm not mad at golden tricorn for that pick as well 
Same for Demolitionist, or who doesn't want to keep getting their grenades back over and over due to this. These two are easy. The top two picks I would choose right behind Incandescent. Now again, there's Reverberation, which is a word I hate to say. I don't think it's that cool. It does increase the size of your detonations, but it's just like, eh, you know. Maybe, I'll, maybe I'll get it and test it out just to see the differences. And it's Watch Buckler, it's a pretty good damage perk, but it's again, I don't think it's super necessary. I'd rather just use Golden Tricorn. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that comment section down below and tell me if you were able to get your hands on this sidearm and if you were able to craft it. Again, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. It is a great sidearm. My final analysis is pretty much what we expected. It, with incandescent, I can scorch things and cause ignitions and it's absolutely great. Uh, we wanted a solar sidearm for rockets, and we finally got it. So, salute to Bungie for the sidearm. It's really, really good, and you should definitely go and grind for the sidearm because I think it's going to be one of the most used weapons probably going forward until that inevitable nerf happens. Which again, I don't want to throw out there, but just keep in mind, just keep in mind, it's probably going to happen at some point. So just kind of, just kind of be on the lookout for that. But yeah, go get the sidearm. Go get it right now. Go grind for it right now. Get your red borders and go blow things up, man, and cause the world to be on fire. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, hit that comment section and tell me how you're feeling about this current act and what's going on with Saint-14, man. Crazy. With that being said, guys, I'm out.